Hi everyone, this is the Redragon K621 Horus keyboard. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to program the macros for this keyboard, whether they are the macros that are on the keys here of the keyboard or the macros that you can program with the software of this keyboard. So let's start with the macros that are on the buttons of this keyboard directly. So you notice here these macro buttons. You have one, two, three, four macro buttons. And this is the MR button, which is the macro record button. And you see here that you have M1, M2, M3, M4. So for each of these selections, you can save four macros. So it means that you can save up to 16 macros on this keyboard. I'm going to show you how to do all this. And all the macros that you can save on these buttons are a combination of keyboard shortcuts. So for instance, let me show you how to save the Ctrl S keyboard shortcut so that to save the document very quickly. And to save it to the G1 button in the M1 memory, press the function M1. And you notice that the F1 button lit differently than the other three buttons. So now we are saving into the memory one. So press MR and then press the macro button you want to save the keyboard shortcut for. Here we want to press the G1. So it is flashing. It means it's ready to save. And then press the keyboard shortcut that you want. So here I want to press Ctrl S and then press MR again. And now it is saved. And now whenever you press G1 when you're in the M1 function, it will send Ctrl S to your PC. And you can continue on saving macros on these buttons in the M1 here memory. So if I want now to save, for instance, the Ctrl K, which is in my video editing software, it is cut. So I'm going to press memory and then G2 and then Ctrl K and memory again. And now the Ctrl K is saved in G2 in the memory one here. So now I'm going to show you how to delete a macro in case you don't want it anymore. So whenever you are in the memory where there are the macros and you want to delete one of these, press the macro button here and then press the key that you want to delete and then press the MR button once again and the macro will be deleted. So now I'm going to show you how to save a macro button in the memory 2 here. So we need to switch to memory 2. Let me wake up the keyboard once again and then function memory 2. And now you see that the M2 button is flashing and these keys will function whenever it is active. So now I'm going to save the sequence that put the PC to sleep. So memory, I'm going to save it to G4. And then this is a combination to put the PC to sleep. Windows X, U, S, memory. And now whenever I press G4, my PC will go to sleep. And now if you want to use the macros in M1, all you have to do is press function M1 and it will switch back to the memory one. And you can use now the buttons of this memory one and it will activate the keyboard shortcuts that you saved in them. So that was it for saving the macros on these keys here on the keyboard directly. Now I'm going to switch to the Red Dragon software and show you how to save the macro using the Red Dragon software. So this is the Red Dragon software you see in front of you here. So to get this software, you need to search for Red Dragon K621 software. So I duck, duck, go it here and you found it and you just go to the download and you choose your keyboard and you download it. And this is the software running now. So for this software to be functional, you need to connect your Red Dragon keyboard with a physical connection and make sure that is set to USB. So you set it to USB by pressing function and five and this will set it to USB. So now the software can see the keyboard. Otherwise, you cannot program the keyboard using the software. So you notice here in the software, you have profile one, two, three, and for each profile, you can program the keys like you want. And this is a macro editor, and this is the light. But because this video is to show you how to program the macros, I'm gonna skip the lighting. If you want me to make a video about the lighting, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. And by the way, if you're liking this video so far, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. So here you see you have macro editor and macro editor here you can create macros that you can apply to all the profiles. So I'm going to start by creating a macro that types a salutation for all my letters. So I'm going to click on macro editor. So to create a new macro, right click here in this empty window and then choose a new macro and name it whatever you want. So this macro, I'm going to name it salutation and then press OK when you put the name. And here to start putting things in the macro, you can either select manual selection or choose to record the macro. And of course, recording the macro is much easier. So I'm going to click start recording and I'm going to start typing. Hi, this is Eloy. 
and then I'm gonna click on stop recording and then I'm gonna click on save so now what I've done is that I created a macro that will say hi this is Eloy and like any word editing program that you have so let me create another macro to show you a limitation of the macro editor here in the Red Dragon software so this one will be like testing the win key and let's click on start record so now if I press the windows key on my keyboard it will not record anything and this is a limitation of the macro editor so you cannot record like all the keys with it so let me click on stop recording here and let's delete this macro so now we created a macro now I'm going to show you how to assign the macro to any of the keys on the keyboard so let me close this here and let's work on profile one so in profile one I want to assign the macro the salutation macro to the print screen key here so click the key that you want to assign the macro to and then you'll have this option in front of you so in this option you have a key assignment where you can put keyboard keys and you can put also macros and you can put media I'm going to show you the key assignment and media later let's start with the macro so if I click on macro here you have the macros that you created earlier select the one you want here I'm going to select salutation and then I'm going to click OK and you notice that the key turns red here and now we have to click apply and notice how the keyboard will flash so the keyboard saved the macro so now this key here on the keyboard the print screen key will write hi this is Eloy I'm gonna open notepad and show you how it will write this so this is notepad and see how the macro will write hi this is Eloy so now I'm gonna show you how to assign other functions to your keys on the keyboard apart from the macros so let's take for instance the key that is scroll lock that I never use and here I'm gonna give it a key assignment let's say I'm gonna give it a control A so to select like the whole document so click on key assignment and you notice here the special keys on the keyboard that you cannot press so you need to select it here so I'm gonna select control and then I'm gonna click here in the box and type A on my keyboard and here we have control A so let's click on OK so let me click on apply to save it to the keyboard and now let's open notepad again I'm gonna show you how this will work so if I press now the scroll lock it will select all the document and now I'm gonna show you how to assign a media function to any of the keys of your keyboard so I'm gonna assign the mute button to the pause button here so let me close notepad and let's take the pause button and then go to media I want the mute function select it press ok press on apply once again so let me show you how it will function and notice the speaker here how it will mute when I press this pause button and now it muted and now I want to show you how to revert a key in case you don't want to assign a macro or any other function to it anymore so let's take the print screen key for instance that has a macro so if you click on it you notice this arrow here if you click on it you will revert to the original function of the key so here I'm gonna revert to the original function of the key click apply and now this is a print screen once again and here you can do the same for each profile for the macros if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comments section below and I'll be happy to answer all your questions and all your comments I hope that this video was useful to you in case it was please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up I would really appreciate it I want to thank you all for watching I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech see you in the next video